Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at the new Sleep Score from Fitbit. So this is a beta product from Fitbit Labs. They're inviting specific users to test this out. And basically, it's a way of using your Fitbit tracker, and it has to have heart rate enabled, um, to give you not just information on your sleep from the previous night, but to actually synthesize all of that information into a specific score from zero to 100 that tells you how good your sleep was for the previous night. Um, so I've pulled up the sleep score, and you can see my last night value was 75. Um, there's a little chart over here, so that falls into the category of fair. And you can see over the last seven days what score I got, um, usually somewhere around 80 to 85. Um, maybe a little bit lower today, but uh, generally in that range, you seem fairly consistent there. So what goes into the score? Um, the first thing you can see here is the sleep duration. So again, here they're looking at how long you actually slept, and not just how long you were in bed, but um, the amount of time you actually spent to sleep. And you can see this actually varies pretty widely um, from night to night there, depending on when I go to bed. Um, and so last night it was about a 76, it says, so decent overall time. You can see on that Wednesday, I really didn't get a lot of sleep, so that went down. Um, on Thursday, it was much higher, et cetera. Um, so this is what you would usually have before, is just the amount of time, but now they've added in these other components. Um, so sleep depth, um, this is how long you spend in each sleep stage. So REM sleep, um, which is when you're dreaming, uh, as well as the um, light and deep stages of sleep. So you can see I only got a 60, which is probably what's dragging down my overall score for sleep depth last night. Um, and they give you some tips like early morning exercise supposedly makes you sleep more deeply. I don't know if maybe there was something uh, that woke me up at different points in the night, but that's the sleep depth score. So even though I had a good duration, the depth was not the best. Um, and then the final score, and the one I actually find most helpful, is this revitalization score. And this is where they're really using their tech built into the Fitbit to give you something new, which is looking at the, um, the breathing patterns and heart rate patterns during the day versus at night. And it's actually measuring how restorative the sleep was. Um, and I find this is actually the most accurate score reflecting how I feel the next day after sleeping. So last night I actually got an 87 on that, even though my overall score again was only 75. And, you know, subjectively I feel pretty good in terms of sleep today. Uh, and actually was a, basically the highest score for revitalization that I've had in the last week. Um, versus this Friday, even though I got um, a pretty good sleep depth and a pretty good sleep duration, you can see my revitalization score was very low. Um, so I think this is the most exciting one because, again, you know, just from my own uh, limited experience with this, it seems to correlate the best with how I actually feel. And again, this is using things you're not otherwise getting, like your sleep stages or sleep duration. It's using the actual breathing and heart rate data probably with some new algorithm to give you this overall score. So again, this is the new uh, sleep score from Fitbit. Uh, I imagine they'll be bringing this out to everybody at a certain point in time. At the moment, I think it's just a private beta, um, but uh, I'd encourage you to sign up and again, track these different things, but really pay special attention to that revitalization score because that can give you a good sense for, even if you're not getting the longest sleep um, or the deepest sleep, how you're going to feel the next day. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.